Hello, Scorpio. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with y'all. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys doing today? I hope well. I really, really do. Feels like a good day today. I don't know. Something shifted. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I just feel good. But I hope you guys are feeling well as well. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio spirit. What does Scorpio need to hear and know at this time? <clears throat> so it says finances. Financial issues are a factor trying to generate more income, good or bad financial changes and clearing debts. So we're going to see if that's good or bad for you. All right. But I hope it's good. You know, I hope your finances are looking good and you're building upon them. Some of you guys could have new um, business ventures that could be taken off or that you want to like uh, that you want to take off. OK, so maybe it's going to take a little, you know, a bit of determination, drive, perseverance. All right. But let's see. Hopefully you're getting an upgrade in your finances. Let's see. All right. So these all came in reverse so bottom of the deck is commitment wedding and next level okay good all right all right so survival came in reverse so if you were having i feel like if you were having problems with your finances i feel like things are going to look up for you but i'm going to flip them up right okay so it says surviving barely hanging on living paycheck to paycheck burnout is knocking on your door no savings and limited resources yeah, so somebody here could be having bad, I mean, they could be going through a rough time financially, but it came out in reverse. So for some of you, I'm getting, it could be 50-50, that you're not going to be struggling anymore. So we're we going to see. Um, betrayal did come out in reverse. So I, I feel like this is like a, <clears throat> you're overcoming something. It says betrayal, deceit, and jealousy. So somebody could be in your workplace. Somebody in your workplace could be jealous or somebody that you work with could be jealous of you or you could run a business with this person. They were jealous of you. They were a snake the whole time. Somebody could have stolen from you or stolen some ideas from you and made it their own. Okay, yeah, so we have online. Being active on social media, strong social media presence, influencer, emails, online dating, and online business. Yeah, so something going on about your finances in a business. Definitely that. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, you could be an influencer of some sort. Somebody could be making fake pages of you and trying to like scam people with using your pictures or using or, or something like that, taking your products or whatever you're doing. So make sure you copyright and shit, okay, uh, LLC in it or something, you know, I'm going to get the right documents to make them legal. So that way if somebody is trying to like do some shit, you can sue their ass, <laughs> period. So let's see, I don't know, let's see, what is finances for Scorpio? What is finances for Scorpio? <clears throat> yeah, somebody in your energy is broke and they fucking they're making money. They're they're making money off something that you do. Yeah, four of pentacles, bottom of the deck. So yeah, somebody's like greedy or, or stingy or they're hiding shit, they're hiding money. Or this is you holding back. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. <laughs> or you're not releasing whatever this is that you're going to release until you go get this shit copyrighted because you know people like to uh, uh, make fake pages or scan other people but let's see what's finances right here for Scorpio <clears throat> all right so we have yeah ace of wands six of pentacles so there's something here I feel like that you're passionate about that you're getting ready to do here it's going to bring in balance within <clears throat> your finances for some of you, you have to travel for whatever this is but I'm definitely getting a new employment for some of you <clears throat> okay but whatever this is i feel like you're going to be passionate about it okay yeah this is a good opportunity here <clears throat> so that's good it's going to bring back balance in your finances or um whatever this is that you're going to do is going to bring a uh, generate a lot of income generate a lot of money because people are going to be supporting whatever this is that you're doing they could be patronizing you for your work here <laughs> and I feel like whatever this is, you really love to do it. A new This could be a new creative project or something that you've been thinking about for a while that could be coming to you. New ideas could be coming to you that could definitely bring about new, you know, more money. So definitely do that. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So this could be something new that you're needing to do or that you've been thinking about. <clears throat> 
you could um own like a um an organization where you give back to other people like the homeless or you could be opening up a shelter i always get that with the six of pentacles <clears throat> but i feel like you really give back to your community anyway or you're going to be you know but what's finances good three of swords in reverse so yeah <laughs> letting the heart break the pain go or whatever this is you know <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like you're releasing something. You're letting something go or you're healing from something here or your finances. This is your finances being healed or you needed to let somebody go. Yeah, it could be somebody that was jealous of you or that they're very envious of you. You have your guards up with somebody because you don't trust them. So I feel like for some of you too, if you're suspecting that you have a, a, like your intuition is telling you that you have somebody around you that could possibly be, be making fake pages or trying to like... <clears throat> run up a check off of your name and your work by scamming other people. I feel, I feel like it's them, it's they ass, whoever them is to you, whoever that person is to you, I feel like you're right about it, <clears throat> you know? Hmm. So what's this Ace of Wands? Something is definitely being healed. Yeah, Six of Cups, so 666. Six, six. I feel like whoever this is is very gifted. This could be you or the other person in your energy, Scorpio, but if this is you, I feel like you're very gifted. Um, you could be connecting to like uh, your ancestors here or past life. You have something that you were doing in a past life that you're needing to do in this lifetime as well. You guys could really be uh, working with kids as well too. You could be opening up a daycare or opening up a, uh, you could be in the, hmm, something about adopting children. I don't know if that's, I don't know if you should make that a business or not. I don't like that. Some of you guys could have been adopted and somebody was like, just wanted a check is what I'm hearing <clears throat> for somebody. I don't know. I hope y'all not doing it. I hope y'all have a real love for kids. Shit. But uh, Six of Cups, yeah, I'm getting like past life energy off of this. Or you could be making a connection with somebody that could be pushing you to do whatever this is too, though. You're, whatever this is that you're passionate about. Or you have somebody that's going to be kind enough to invest in whatever this is and help you out. Somebody wants to, somebody could want to give you some type of gift too. They could be traveling to give you some type of gift. But I'm definitely getting um whatever this is is very healing to you. Whatever this is that you're trying to do, it's I feel like it's emotionally fulfilling as well. I feel like you like to give back to people or give back to your community. Okay, some of you guys, I'm hearing something about like buying a whole bunch of food and like going to where a lot of homeless people are and giving back. You know, like going on a corner and setting up your, your shop or whatever you have going on that you can give back to the community for free. I feel like somebody is very thoughtful, very generous, very kind. So whatever this is that you're doing is definitely the move. Okay. <clears throat> so that's nice. What's this Six of Pentacles? For some of you, there's somebody from your past that's trying to like, they're, they're thinking about you. They want to come towards you and give you something. I'm getting that too. But what's the Six of Pentacles? Nine of Swords, the Temperance, yeah, balance being restored. So this is good. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there is balance being restored. Divine timing is here. Okay, you're healing. Or whatever you do, you help heal other people. Some of you guys can actually be healers. Okay, you could be feeling a bit overwhelmed or anxious right now. There could be something going on with a child as well. Some of y'all could be receiving child support or something like that. But whatever this is, it could be making you a bit nervous, like you don't know what's going on, but, <clears throat> or you're overwhelmed to the point where it's hard for you to like implement this new plan that you're trying to do. So make sure you try to ground your energy. I feel like spirit, your spirit guides and your angels are protecting you heavily at this time. You and your children are safe. You're fine. You guys could be healing from something at this time. I'm hearing, I don't play about my children. <laughs> okay, so somebody here not playing about their kids. So, but let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. For some of you, there's somebody that want to bring back balance to, the, to a connection or something like that. They miss you. They're very nostalgic and they're nervous about doing it. They don't, they don't know if they could bring it back to, into balance. Excuse me. What's this Nine of Swords about? The lovers. Okay, so a connection. You could be dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> Maybe 
be careful of your manifestations at this time. I feel like I feel like you need to stay as positive as you can, uh, Scorpio, because I feel like um I feel like you're transitioning. You're grieving about something. There's something, there's like a loss here or something that you were still connected to, maybe emotionally, that I feel like you're grieving or healing from, or you're trying to heal from it. So this transition period could be a uh, very like stressful or it could be overwhelming. You could be feeling anxious or worried about something. And it could be about a connection. You could have a choice between two here. All right. And maybe somebody here wants to bring back balance to you or something like that. But I feel like somebody, some of you guys could be getting new employment though, or this person needs new employment or they need more money. Maybe they want to get more money to bring back balance to this. Maybe they owe you money or something like that. But I'm definitely getting something is balancing out. I don't know what the nervous energy is about. I just feel like somebody's nervous about giving you something. Maybe they feel like their gift is not good enough or whatever this is to try to balance this out. This could be definitely be a strong soulmate of yours. <clears throat> I feel like there's somebody that wants to give to you, though. I don't know what the nervousness is about, child. I feel like somebody just wants to be good enough for this connection. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, but I feel like they are. You have a past life energy, but you have a past life with this person. <clears throat> What's this Three of Swords in Reverse? Yeah, page of one. So, yeah, looking forward. Okay, there could be some good news coming in. So, definitely your finances are being healed. Most definitely that. Things are balancing out there. And I feel like that's going to put this connection in a um, better place as well. If you're tripping about a connection or something like that. I feel like your connection is heavily protected as well. So, somebody trying to fuck with it, it's a no. But page of wands. Yeah, this could have something to do with the child. I'm feeling a lot of sexual energy here too. So you and somebody, I don't know, this person that you're getting with, because the temperance could mean reconciliation and soulmate energy too, as well as the, the lovers. Okay, this person, I feel like they're very creative. You are as well. So y'all can put your heads together and come up with something, right? I feel like both of you guys are passionate about something that you do. You, you're passionate about what you do, Scorpio, and this other person is as well. It could be about children, okay? But Page of Swords is like being excited, enthusiastic, moving forward ready to take action in a new direction ready to build in a new direction this is like feeling um i'm just getting an excited energy but definitely letting go of the past letting i mean well yeah it could be letting go of the past or letting go of past hurt and pain i feel like somebody has a, is, is suffers from a lot of anxiety though there's a need to kind of like balance yourself out because you're nervous about something I don't know what it, what the fuck it is, but um, what's this surviving? Barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck. Ooh, okay. Will of Fortune in reverse. So karma, bad bad karma. Okay, yeah. So Will of Fortune in reverse, the hangman, the two of pentacles. You could definitely be dealing with a strong Sagittarius, Pisces here, Taurus, Leo, another Scorpio, or an Aquarius. <clears throat> so yeah somebody's like struggling with their finances and whoever i don't know who this i feel like it's not even your energy this is somebody else possibly a scorpio that's in your energy but will of fortune in reverse is bad karma things not turning out in your favor bad luck so definitely upheaval and a lot of chaos going on in somebody's world of finances somebody could be out of a job i'm getting okay there's a need to maybe shift your perspective about your money all right, but I, I just feel like somebody here is stuck. Somebody's really stuck. But if you're stuck, there's a need to shift your perspective, okay? Don't make any sudden moves because you could be building karma. So don't build any bad karma. But I feel like this is somebody else, though. Somebody's, like, really trying to gain the resources and balance with their money. There's, like, a person that's, like, juggling a lot or trying to really regain balance. All right. Or there's a need to regain control. Some of you guys are unorganized or this person is, I just feel like somebody's very unorganized or uh, trying to make financial decisions here, weighing options. There could be a decision that you're having to make. And one of these decisions are bad karma. So make sure you just pay attention to what you're doing, what you're signing yourself up for. But I feel like there's somebody already here that's getting karma for something that they did or something that didn't work out. What's the two of pentacles right here?
yeah <laughs> judgment in reverse scorpio energy um aries leo sag as well mm. so somebody here made the wrong decision <clears throat> there's a karmic lesson that keeps repeating there's some type of negative pattern about finances here and somebody's life that just keeps repeating over and over and over again somebody's very indecisive about what to do so i feel like the longer somebody sits here in this bullshit they're gonna stay stuck I feel like this is your energy. You're over here like, I don't know. You're good. Somebody could be projecting that energy onto you, though. Somebody could be projecting that nervousness, that, I don't know, that fear, that anxiety, or something like that onto you to try to fuck you up. I don't know if they're trying to, you know, intentionally, but they are, I feel like they're in your energy and you're just trying to, like, move forward here. This could be somebody that you've let go of that is, like, struggling financially, too, but definitely negative patterns like on repeat here about money I, I don't know what this is but it's bad somebody's getting bad karma for something what's the hangman <laughs> okay the death card yeah so transformation this could be yeah this could be somebody that you ended something with here scorpio but i feel like there's a transformation that's trying to happen for somebody or somebody is being forced to transform they ain't got no choice but to end something there's a sacrifice that possibly needs to be made in order for something like work but i just feel like somebody's like stuck i feel like this could be you trying to release something and end something and i feel like you have but now that other person is getting karma because of what they try to do somebody did something that I don't know they had you in the mix of it or they had this other person in the mix of it, but it's bad, okay? Uh, but this is definitely a transformative period, though. I mean, it's like somebody's being forced to do something because they don't have no choice now. You know, what's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, it could be It could be because somebody's like envious or very jealous of you, very hateful. I don't know what they try to do, maybe to your money or something like that, but... <clears throat> maybe they were just speaking out of their mouth um wishing that you would fail or, or wishing for your downfall or something like that or they could have even stolen from you or something <clears throat> but definitely i feel like this person is like jealous or envious i feel like somebody's like wounded they're kind of like beat up they're tired whoever this is whatever they're going through this is like wounded warrior energy, but this is also talking about, I feel like somebody kept doing something over and over again, then now they're getting bad karma for it. They're like, they like continue to like do something or continue to um just be a goddamn hater or something like that. <clears throat> I feel like you're very guarded against this person, whoever it is. Um, this is somebody that just, makes it hard to compromise somebody's like very stubborn or very rigid like they don't <clears throat> what's the will of fortune in reverse with this nine of wands yeah queen of swords yeah so this could be somebody that you set your boundaries with here uh scorpio this could be you and this queen of swords energy or for some of you this is somebody going through a divorce as well <clears throat> all right but i feel like something was exposed and yeah you yeah you caught somebody doing something i don't know but um <clears throat> excuse me i feel like you set your boundaries with this person i feel like you were very raw and blunt in your communication you were not going to take what somebody was doing to you or something like that or you cut this is somebody that you cut off is what i feel or this is somebody that has been cut off this aquarius libra or gemini or this is you but nonetheless this could be this person getting this karma let's see yeah, the Empress, the Magician, Page of Pentacles. Who's this Queen of Swords right here? Okay, Knight of Swords. Two of Cups, Five of Wands. So I feel like this is you. This could be you, Scorpio. You're going through a lot of big changes here. Things are shifting. There could be a need to set boundaries, cut people off at this time. I feel like you've been doing that or you're just like really, really not playing with these people. They're getting bad karma anyways. They're getting bad karma. I feel like somebody's a little bit pissed off too. They're a little mad. I get that with the Knight of Swords energy sometimes, but I feel like this is you taking action and not backing down. I feel like you're cutting people to fuck off and you're guarding yourself and protecting yourself from um this bullshit i feel like you are protected whatever gifts you have coming in or whatever shit that you got going on for you i feel like it's protected and these other people they're going through shit 
they're just going through bad karma like some of you guys could be in a relationship right now where somebody's like in competition or trying to like cause chaos or whatever the fuck and i feel like that shit is not working i feel like that's why they're getting karma because they're a hater whoever this is is a hater they just want to cause conflict and, and because they're miserable they want you to be miserable as well and because of that they're getting judgment like now is their time to like pay up <laughs> spirit does not like no i feel like you're seizing opportunities here you know at the first thing smoking like as soon as the opportunity comes up that you have to kind of like move forward i feel like you're going to take it yeah you're taking risk i feel like you're you're being very brave and bold yeah you're not you're not sitting around and letting nobody else kind of like trick you out your spot no more so you're seizing new opportunities that's coming there is some big changes that's coming i feel like somebody else is going through big changes too but theirs is horrible they're getting horrible karma <laughs> somebody is like they ain't fucking with it what's this betrayal deceit and jealousy <laughs> yeah something could be going on in court too where something is not turning out in their favor it could be dealing with a libra strong libra here or air energy libra gemini aquarius <clears throat> ten of cups and the king of wands bottom of the deck ten of pentacles mm. you guys would be seeing ten ten so there could be there could be a court situation that's going in your favor it could be family court okay some of you guys could be going to court here and things are going to work out in your favor yeah because i feel like you're taking action for some of you if you're a woman you're in your masculine energy like you're not you're very you're being very strong or you're just taking on a masculine role here but uh and taking action but um if it's a masculine here, a masculine, things are going to work out in, in your favor here. I feel like there's balance coming in uh, in regards to your children. There's balance coming in just in your life in general, okay? Because there's good karma here. With the justice upright, I feel like this is good karma coming in. But somebody's definitely getting bad karma, but I feel like you're getting good karma. Okay, a court situation could be going in your favor. I'm getting uh, honesty, truth, a karmic lesson being learned here on your end, you know? Somebody here, their jealous ways is definitely not like things are not working out for them. <laughs> God is not playing with somebody. Just period. Yeah, you're getting a victory. For some of you guys, you're getting a, a big windfall of money or inheritance money that could be coming in through the court system here. They could have tried to steal a whole bunch of shit from you. I don't know. They tried to steal like, uh, could be inheritance money or they try. I don't know what the fuck they tried to do, but they, they tried it and it didn't work. So let's see. Who's this King of Wands right here? Who's the king of wands? Okay, yeah, six of wands. So getting a victory. Aries, Leo, Sag energy could be dealing with. Yeah, something is working out in your favor. I feel like somebody feels more confident, feels more like energetic, okay? Feel more powerful. They don't feel powerless anymore, you know? So this is good news. Whatever this is, is really good. It's a victory. It's success. Something is definitely going to be a success here. Some of you guys could be gaining a lot of recognition and pub yeah, public recognition and rewards for whatever this is that you're taking action on. Okay. Now is not the time to like back down from it. It's the time to keep moving, persevering. What's the justice card? Okay. Eight of wands. So yeah, things working out in your favor. Yeah, moving forward. Some of you guys could be receiving communication from a, a court case that's going to push you forward. It's going to like free you from whatever this is. Some of you guys could have to travel for court or you're traveling, you know, just to travel because I feel like you're going to be happier now that this shit is over. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be much more happier, but definitely communication could be coming in maybe from this King of Wands that wants a victory and success with you. Yeah, somebody here wants a relationship with you or they y'all are already in a relationship with this person. This could be a new love offer coming in, you know, that, yeah, things are looking up, uh, Scorpio. So whatever the shit is, things are definitely looking up. Something has taken off in a positive way for you here, um, Scorpio. Some of you guys are hearing something about getting off of probation. So if you were on probation, you, you just got off. That's really good. Now you can travel, okay? You could be having to go to the court system. I mean, go to the um, courthouse to get your monitor off or get your paperwork done. So that way you can be able to travel now, I'm hearing for somebody. But I'm definitely getting you're free from something, though. What's this Ten of Cups? Some of you guys could be starting a family as well. 
Yeah, something about a child. Yeah, something is going in your favor. Yep, lovely, beautiful energy. So um, this, this could be somebody coming in to apologize to you. Maybe they want to reunite with you. For some of you, it's your twin. Okay, for others of you, it's just, um, this is just talking about your stability, um, celebrations, okay, rewards, you know, all type of shit going on. I feel like success here. For some of you, somebody wants to propose to you. This is somebody's like intentions here. Their intentions are to propose to you. This is good karma coming in. I feel like in the form of a, starting a family, a relationship dynamic. I don't know, but this shit looks nice though. Some of you guys could be moving in with somebody. Somebody like sees you as their, as the one. So they want to commit to you and give to you, take care of you, pamper you. And your kids, if you have kids here, they could be wanting to blend families if they have kids as well or start a family with you or something like that. But um, there's like communication coming in or, excuse me, you could be communicating with somebody. So I'm definitely seeing you're getting a victory over whatever betrayal this was, this deceit, this jealousy, whatever this bullshit is, you know, it's going to work out in your favor. So this is nice, uh, Scorpio. Okay, whatever this shit is, it's hip, hip, you know, hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray, because there's definitely a party, okay, or a celebration of some sort. You guys could be seeing 666, okay, 999. Okay. So what's this online, being active online, social media, strong social media presence? You could be dealing with an influencer or this is you as the influencer, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, people talking shit about it, whatever. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. So five of pentacles in reverse, king of cups and the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you are transforming here, Scorpio. This is your ass, king of cups right here. This is you. Definitely... Um, there's an emotional tie that you have to something that you do that you're going to do online. Like, you really feel deeply about something, I feel. Okay, you really feel deeply about something. There, There's a lot of gossip around what you want to do. Or there's going to be a lot of controversy is what I'm getting to around what you're trying to do here. I feel like you're putting away old habits as well. As well, um, It could be overindulging. I don't know, third parties, a lot of sex, drugs, alcohol, or something like that. I don't know. I'm just getting like a purifying of your energy. Five of Pentacles in reverse is hardships being over. The struggle is over. Whatever this is, I feel like it's over. Yeah, you're setting yourself free and, and you know, unburdening yourself. Whatever was a burden. Okay, some of you guys could be moving. Okay, you're thinking about moving here. You're getting ready to. But definitely, whatever this, whatever this is that you're about to do or whoever you're dealing with is definitely um, healthy for you. And I feel like you're trying to be healthy for yourself as well. So, I don't know. This is good energy. For some of you, there's friends and family members that you're putting... You know, you know, they they getting put out of your life. They getting kicked to the curb here. There could be a lot of malicious gossip around something though. I don't know. We're gonna clarify. Three cups in reverse could talk about overindulgence. It could talk about uh being lonely as well, or canceling a celebration, canceling a gathering or a get together, a party, a wedding, whatever it is, an engagement. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're putting away the burdens of being talked about. Like you should not care anyways about being talked about. You need to follow your heart. Yeah, King of Cups energy, follow your heart and do what's going to make you happy. It's going to definitely put you in a new, yeah, this is a part of your destiny. Whatever this is that you have in mind to do, I feel like you need to do it. <clears throat> okay, but let's see. What's the Three of Cups in reverse? Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles, something about work, something about your finances, your money. Yeah, there's something that you do online here that people are talking about. It could be in a bad or good way. Who gives a fuck? I mean, they all giving you recognition in some shape, form, or fashion. <laughs> when people talk shit about you, all they do is just let other people know, like, hey, this is what this person is doing, and let me go watch it. And you get more views, more likes, more money. <laughs> like, that's all that it is. So, yeah, Eight of Pentacles is like working on something, deciding to work on something or build something here in your career. There could be like workplace drama and shit like that or gossip, but I feel like you don't give a fuck. You're focused on your money. You have your head down. You're like, you're really just focused. Some of you guys could have a new job here or you're doing something that's new. Okay, some of you guys could be in school, but there's like a new skill possibly or something new that you're trying to do. And I feel like you should go ahead and do it because it's definitely going to put you in the king of pentacles energy. You're going to be stable, secure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a lonely road because people are probably not going to like, 
there could be family and friends and shit that's probably not going to support what you're doing or support this person that's doing whatever they're doing. But who gives a fuck? Why do you, you know, don't even, you shouldn't even care. They ass over here getting bad karma anyways. So what's the, the King of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, you could be in your head about it. Whatever it is, you're in your head about it because of all this gossip here. So don't let that steer you away from whatever this is that you're trying to do. It could be a lot of anxiety or maybe you actually feel trapped in something. Or you can't stop thinking about something. I feel like you're overthinking something here. What's the Eight of Swords? Okay, the Hermit. Yeah, somebody feels alone. Okay, so the Three of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody feels isolated or alone. There could be some shadow work that you're needing to do here. You're needing to go in hermit mode just to do, you know, work and just focus on you, clearing out your energy. Some of you guys are trying to ghost the situation. You don't want to be bothered with somebody or these friends or whatever this is. Because they could be in your head or like trying to talk down on something that you're trying to do. Yeah, somebody's like trying to get in the way of your work or building your success. Or this could be your own self-sabotaging ways. So maybe you're needing to go within. This could be your own mind. You could be talking yourself out of doing something that you know is going to put you out of the five of pentacles in reverse. Like, you're going to be able to build your finances, but you could be a bit scared. So there's a need to maybe go within and do some introspection. Why, you know, try to figure out why it is that you're scared or why do you care about what other people are saying or whatever. Like, who gives a fuck? You need to stop giving a fuck. So what's this? Um, some of you guys could need counseling or therapy, too. So definitely, if you need counseling or therapy, definitely do that. Okay, nothing wrong with that. What's the five of pentacles in reverse? Somebody could be drinking a lot too, though. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's drinking a lot, or this is you. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy. So moving forward. Moving forward, being ambitious, being driven. For some of you, this is somebody here that has feelings for you. They're too worried about gossip, so they're focusing on work. This person could have ghosted you. They're too much in their head about what people are saying about them or what, whatever the fuck. And I feel like this could be your ass. You took yourself out of the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're not going to stay stuck here and keep feeling abandoned by this person because they keep ghosting you being in and out. So I feel like this could be you moving forward, right? That could be a situation, you know, but... I feel like um, some of you guys are getting a new car, okay, where, where you were walking or taking the bus a lot or whatever the fuck, you're getting a new car or something like that. For some of you, there's somebody here coming back into your life or trying to come back with their player ways. They could be very much so in and out. They're still hiding shit. I feel like you close the cycle out with this person. There's like a player energy. Somebody that's very arrogant, could be very cocky, you know, they got their ways about them. This person is lying about something or hiding something here. Or trying to sneak their way back into your life. But I feel like it's a no. The cycle is closed out. So. Mm. Some of you guys could work with cars. I'm hearing something about pottery. So you could do pottery. You know, you can build things or. I don't know. But. Um, strike why am i hearing strike i don't know what that means so maybe you guys went bowling and you you know you hit a strike or i don't know what that's supposed to mean i don't know what strike is <laughs> i don't know why i just heard that word okay don't ask me because i don't know but anywho I feel like something is going to take off. I just feel like you have to get in your head. I mean, get out of your head about it, Scorpio. Because I feel like you're definitely unblocked from something. Whoever this is that's getting karma, they could have been blocking you. They could have been blocking your progress or whatever the fuck. You know? There's somebody that you had to get rid of here. I feel like you got rid of their ass, so now it's time to level up. And you can be nervous about it. I feel like you're very wise, though. You've matured with the hermit. Or you could be just doing a lot of thinking right now, a lot of introspection. But you need to make sure not to overthink. Okay, I feel like you could be doing a bit of that as well. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is teamwork. Okay, so it says spirit is guiding you to work with others to fulfill your goals and dreams. Your prayers have been heard and new partners are being assigned to you to help you along your journey. 
You don't have to do this alone. Yeah. Yeah, you could be you could be like feeling like you're gonna be alone or feeling like you're not gonna have supporters, but you do, especially whoever this is over here that wants to support you or whatever this past like connection is you have with somebody, they're here to support you. You know, this is like an earth angel that's came into your life or something like that to help guide you. So you need to take the opportunity. But it says this can also be an omen that spirit wants to nudge you to be more cooperative and extend yourself to the service of others. You have talent, skills, and a valuable contribution to those around you. Distance yourself from those who do not see your worth and welcome in those who do. <clears throat> Period. What else? <clears throat> so it says breakthrough. Yeah, sometimes we get blocked simply because of the timing of something. Sometimes it's because of circumstances outside of our control. Whatever blockages you have been facing, they are about to break open and evolve into a breakthrough. This could come in the form of a creative project. Definitely that. <laughs> a relationship dynamic. I feel like that too. So you have both a relationship and a new creative project that you should be working on right now, Scorpio. But I feel like it's making you nervous or giving you anxiety. It could be just you have a lot on your plate, you know. But um, this could come in the form of a creative project, relationship dynamics, misunderstanding, misunderstandings or delays in goals you have been aiming for. Expect... Emotional surges, epiphanies, sudden financial blessings, and good health results. You are in a positive part of your life cycle. Enjoy this. Enjoy what spirit is providing. Yeah, beautiful. So that's exactly what's happening here. I feel like things are taking off. They are. Like, you're at a good point in your life, so just take advantage of it. Okay, so we have alchemy, bottom of the deck. It says, you have the ability to transmute elements into something new. If someone gives you pain, you turn it into healing. If someone gives you love, you turn it into something multiplied with new life. You have the power and magic within you to weave the fabric of the universe into a blanket of golden opportunities. You are receiving opportunities for new adventures to reach milestones in your life. This can also be an omen of advanced learning and understandings of esoteric teachings or acquiring new skills with, the, with energy work. This is also about evolution of the soul. So beautiful, yeah. <clears throat> the King of Cups is normally psychic. <clears throat> okay, the King of Cups, just like the Queen of Cups, you both are psychic, okay? Man or woman, doesn't matter. But this could be a strong masculine too that is like stepping into like their divinity. They are transforming whoever the fuck this is, okay? Whoever this is. So this is nice. So congrats, Scorpio. This looks nice. This was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.